Hello, I am Casey Ellis from the blog Elements of Ellis, and this is my very first YouTube video. Do people usually announce when it's their first video? I don't know that I've ever seen someone's very first video. And if I did, they didn't announce it, so I didn't know. But I am letting you guys know this is my first video, and for my first video, I decided to do a favorites video because favorite videos are my favorite to watch. So first, I will talk about my uh, perfume. Cody got this for me, and it is the Chanel Chance perfume. And he got it just as a just because gift, which was super sweet of him. He just came home one day with um, it. I'm gonna try to pronounce the scent that it is, but I'm going to fail because I suck at pronouncing things. So it is the O five O five. It's um, the pinkish colored one, basically. I'll link it below. Um, but it just smells so good. I think, like. I'm bad at describing things. So, I don't know how I would describe this. I'm bad at pronouncing things, I'm bad at describing things. So this is gonna be fun. Um, but I it, maybe it's like a florally, it's like fresh, it's springy. Um, I feel like perfume, once you spray it on, it kind of has a slightly different smell on everybody because we all have like our own, you know, scents and uh, what is it called, pheromones, I think. So, um, it's just different on everybody, but I really like this. You guys should give it a sniff because it smells really good and it's perfect for spring. Okay, so now on to my um, lipstick. It's what I'm wearing now. And this, it's not really like a monthly favorite for like this month. It's more of like a last four months favorite. It is the MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. Pretty much since I've gotten this lipstick, I've ignored all my other lipsticks and, you know, lip stains, whatever, lip glosses, everything. I've just ignored it all and I only use this. But it's just like a perfect nude, brownish, pinkish sort of color. Um, I'll swatch it for you. I feel very YouTube-ish right now, swatching it. And I don't know. Now I, feel, now I don't know how to show it to you. Can you see it? But yeah, it's just my favorite lipstick. I wear it all the time now. And I will repurchase it once I run out of it, which will probably be soon because I don't have a ton left. Um, and okay, now on to my eyeliner. I am a black eyeliner lover. If I have makeup on, I have to have black eyeliner on. If I don't have it on, I feel naked. And yes, I say naked weird. It should be pronounced naked, like with an A, but I pronounce it more like it's spelled with an E, which is not how it's spelled, but it's just how I say it. So we can all laugh at me and move on. Um, but it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I've tried so many different black liners over the years and I have never loved one as much as I love this one. So yeah, like I said, it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, I think, which is just like the black color. But it just glides on. It's perfect for a cat eye or, you know, a winged liner. It's just so easy to use and it's got like a easy like pointy tip thing and it's just really black and I love it. I'll try to show you guys my swatch. It's what I've got on my eyes right now. But yeah, I really like it. I'm pretty sure that I found my eyeliner for life. I don't think I'll ever want to use something different. And we might be getting married soon. Now onto my mascara. I am not a big mascara person. I mean, I wear it all the time. I wear it every time I put on makeup. But I'm just never impressed by mascara. I've never found one that's really wowed me. So I just was really shocked when I actually found one that I really liked. And I was walking through Target and I was hungry and I was tired and I wasn't wanting to be there and I just wanted to get my stuff and get gone. And I had gone through the makeup aisle already and um, then after I was like out of the makeup aisle I remembered that I needed to get mascara but I was too lazy to go all the way back into the aisle. It was like, you know, five feet away and I was just too lazy to do it. So I um, just found the closest mascara, which was on the end cap thingy, and it was this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara at home. I was wowed by it. It just, it's, uh, it's voluminous, it's everything you want in a mascara. And I'm guessing it's been around for a while because it's the original. Um, but I can see why they keep it around because it's really good. So I will definitely be repurchasing this mascara. Um, oh. I do have one more makeup item, and it is the Z Palette. It's the Design by Makeup Geek and Z Palette, so I'm thinking that it's available on the Makeup Geek website. 
Um, my best friend got it for me for my birthday. She works for Makeup Geek. She's like their copywriter and um, does their like social media stuff. And But she was a, a fan of Makeup Geek way before she worked there and she got hooked, me hooked on it before she ever worked there. But for my birthday she got me this Z palette. I really like this Z palette because it is neutral and has like a fun design. I really love neutrals. It's pretty much all I wear. And I just think this one's really cute with the gold and white design on it. So, um, on to what I grabbed from my shower. So my hair products. I am obsessed with shampoo and conditioner. I only wash my hair once a week. And by the way, this is like day six on this hair, which is why it's up in a ponytail. I feel like my first YouTube video, I probably should have um, washed my hair, but I didn't. So it's up in a ponytail. But um, yeah, so I just really love shampoos and conditioners. If we're only washing my hair once a week, I have like a ton of them. I think right now I've got like five in my um, shower. So two that I have been loving this month are one, the first one is the Dove Advanced Hair Series Regenerative um, Shampoo and Conditioner. It's with Red Algae Complex and it says it is for damaged and over-processed hair. It helps eliminate the signs of damage for smoother and healthier looking hair. And yeah, I just feel like it does what it says it's going to do. Obviously, I color my hair. I also use a curling iron, curling iron and a straightener all the time because I do not like my natural hair. It's like curly and frizzy and ugh. So I want something that's going to just keep my health, hair really healthy so I can continue to color it and um, straighten it and curl it. And I think that this does the trick. And also, Cody's really been liking it. He told me the other day that he um, that he just really liked the shampoo and conditioner, and I thought it was funny because he has he like shaves his head, so he's practically bald, um, and so I don't know why he even notices a difference with shampoo and conditioner because his hair is like a centimeter thick, but apparently it's been doing wonders for his buzz cut, so that's good. Um, then the second shampoo and conditioner that I've been really liking is the blonde or the Paul Mitchell Forever Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the Caractive Blonde. And um, I normally wouldn't have thought to buy this. It's dripping all over me because I grabbed it out of my shower. But I normally wouldn't have thought to buy this because it's for blondes and I'm obviously not a blonde. But someone recommended it to me and so I tried it and I just really, really like it. It says it's um, intense hydration, care active repair, and more words but that's just different languages thought it had more description of what it does for your hair but it doesn't it just says the same thing in different languages but anyways yeah I just think that it's continuing to drip on me I just think that it is um, just really hydrates my hair it keeps my hair smooth and healthy whenever I put the um, conditioner on my hair I just put it on the ends and leave it on for a few minutes you know while I shave my legs or whatever and then I rinse it out and it feels so silky and smooth so I really like these and I wouldn't have thought to get them since, like I said, I'm not um, blonde. And the other item I grabbed from my shower is my body wash. It is the Dove Dry Oil Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. And I, when I um, shave my legs, I never use shaving gel or shaving cream, whatever you want to call it. So I really need a body wash that is moisturizing. So I have used Dove pretty much since I was a kid because my dad has dry skin. So he, um, or dry and sensitive skin, so he found Dove like really worked for him. So that's pretty much all my parents ever have in their shower. So I always use it whenever I go to their house. And then I occasionally will buy Dove um, body washes for myself. And um, I had used the Dove dry oil shampoo and conditioner last year and really, really liked it and repurchased it, repurchased it a few times. And so when I saw that they came out with the moisturizer, or not moisturizer, but body wash, I really wanted to try it, and so far I'm really liking it. I feel like, you know, it's moisturizing my body and washing it and keeping it clean. So what more can you ask for from a body wash? So next is my one food item that I have to share with you guys, and it is so delicious. It's basically what is giving me life. It's what I'm living on right now. It's so good. It's all I want to eat. I mean, I am eating other things because this isn't very healthy. But it is the Stone Mill Kitchen's Artichoke and Parmesan Dip. It says it's great heated up. I've never tried it heated up. I take it out of the fridge. I don't have time to heat it. I want to eat it right then. I just eat it with some chips, um, not chips, crackers, some Wheat Thins. And I finished eating this one today, so it's empty, which is just really sad. I want to like lick the bowl 
or the container. Now, oh, my fashion items. Okay, so I got these shoes at Old Navy. I think they're gonna be perfect for summer. I haven't actually worn them yet, but I just had to share them because I'm afraid by the time I wear them when it's like warmer and I'm wearing shorts and stuff that they're probably gonna be sold out at Old Navy. So I wanna share them now, but I really love the, um, now I can't think of what this is called, Espadrill? Is that what like the, I feel like since I blog mainly about fashion, I should know the name of this, but I don't. Um, can't think of it right now. But anyways, I just like this. It's like very summery. I love pointed toe stuff, so I really like that these have the pointed toe details, and I think they're going to look super cute with denim shorts in the summer, so I can't wait for it to warm up so that I can start wearing these. Okay, then my other fashion item is on my mannequin, so I need to go grab that real quick. I recently got this white moto jacket which i think is gonna be so perfect for spring it's got cute like silver detailing and hardware on it the zippers it's from a company called um akira shop akira.com so i think i'm pronouncing that right who knows but it's shop a k i a no shop a k i r a dot com and i think this is sold out so i'm just teasing you guys with it right now but they have tons of cute stuff so you should totally check them out and um yeah i just really really like this and can't wait or i've been wearing it but i just think it's going to be perfect for spring so i'm super excited to have a white one i have several different colors of moto jackets but i didn't have a like true white color so i'm really happy to have white now that is all i have for this video so i hope you guys liked it and um let me know what your favorites are Ooh, if you guys have a favorite dry shampoo let me know because like I said I only wash my hair once a week and I haven't had a dry shampoo in months and I'm in need of one like maybe if I had dry shampoo this video I would have had my hair down who knows so I need some dry shampoo so if you guys uh, could recommend one to me that would be great and let me know what your other favorites are and please subscribe to my YouTube channel give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys again for the next video thanks for watching bye